Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can record inside FL Studio without much latency. If you're experiencing some sort of delay in your voice while recording inside FL, when you say something, you notice that your voice comes late or when you play something on the MIDI, you notice that it doesn't sound the moment you strike it. That is latency issue. So I'm going to show you a simple quick fix for that problem. With that being said guys, let's dive in. The easiest way you can fix the latency issue is to head down to your options, go down to audio settings and on this audio window, if you're using a USB mic, let's say you're recording your vocals. If you're using a USB plug and play mic, your driver will either be on FL Studio ASIO or this ASIO. So let's say you're using FL Studio ASIO. What you need to do is to go under this buffer length and select the lowest value. In my case, the lowest here is 256. But experiment with this to get the right value that will not cause lagging on your computer and also you will not experience delay on your voice when recording. And when you pay very close attention to this information here, you notice what it says. It is now recording at 62 milliseconds. That is the amount of micro delay that you will experience. That's not bad. All right, let's try to change it to a higher value and see what happens. Let's take it to 512. As you can see, it increased to 68 and the higher you go, the higher the number there. So if you are always, you know, increasing this so as to avoid crackling due to uh, a low processor speed, it is always advisable that when you're recording, make sure you reduce it to the lowest. Okay, but another challenge there is that when you reduce this to the lowest, if you already programmed some things with VST plugins, it's really gonna drag your CPU or might not even play at all depending on the type of computer you're using. So a better method to handle that is if you've made your beats, just bounce your beat into MP3, re-import it into an empty project and lower your buffer before recording. By so doing, you can record smoothly without delays on your voice and with almost no latency. So that is for people using a plug and play USB mic. Now, let's say you are using an interface like I'm using Focusrite. You go to the driver of your audio interface. In my case, it's Focusrite. You know, it all depends on the one you're using, okay? And do the same thing. Go to the buffer and set it to a lower value. In my case, not 128, as you can see over there, it is 11 milliseconds, which is totally fine. And at this point, when I record, I am not going to experience that latency issue anymore. The same applied to if I'm recording MIDI. All right, so this is pretty much how you can handle the latency issue in FL Studio when recording music. And the last before I conclude is anything you're activating here, make sure you focus your eyes on this information here. For example, if I increase triple buffer, you see it's going to increase. At this point, it's at 14 milliseconds, which is not still bad. But pay very close attention to that information if you don't want to encounter latency issue during recording inside FL Studio. So guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope. I helped someone out there today and stay creative. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.